I want you to pay attention to this very screen that you're seeing right now. What we're going to do with this very screen is we're going to add some animation to it. I figured out how to do this in Canva. You have to have a Canva Pro account, okay? So I'm gonna just say that uh, Canva Pro is, I think, uh, $12.95 a month if you wanted to do that. Or if you pick up the link that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, you can try Canva for free for 30 days, okay? So for this, we're gonna go to the computer. All right, so here we are in Canva, and we're gonna go back to that very same uh, overlay that um, I was showing you in the beginning, okay? So I created these overlays a while ago, and so, so these are all the overlays that I created for my, um, you know, I branded for my business here. This is gonna be the one that I wanna change today. So this is the one that we're gonna, we're gonna play with, okay? So the first things first, cause I made these a while ago, I wanna make sure and preserve a copy of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to create a copy. So I already did that, okay? And so this is my copy right here. So the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to play with this background image that I have where you see it says LBC Mark Makers all in the back. I wanted to play with that and just kind of make it a little bit darker. I have this layer locked. And if you notice this lock right up here, it's, um, I have it locked so it doesn't shift while I, you know, play with all the other assets. So what I did was I unlocked it like this. And so as you can see, these are all like, um, images that I took and I created this pattern behind it. And so what I did, I clicked on this image here, which says LBC mark makers, right? And I wanted to change the color. So the first thing I did was I went to the color picker here and all of the colors are this gray, but I wanted to make it a darker gray. So I clicked that right there. And if you notice on the bottom, it says, um, I can change all of them. So you notice there's quite a bit of them. There's quite a few of them. So I want to go ahead and change all of them to that dark color. So I'm going to say click change all. And so it does do that. Okay. So, so therefore now it's all changed right there. So all of that is there. And I'm going to go back and um, make sure that that layer is locked. So now that I changed all of that lighter gray to this dark gray, now we're going to have some fun. Okay. So one of the things that I wanted to do was to create th that neon, um, you know, the neon, uh, uh, effect around this box right here. Okay. So this is where my camera, my overlay would go in this little box. I use Ecamm live to stream with, and it's my go-to streaming service that I use for all of my live streaming. So, um, if, if you are interested in learning, uh, about Ecamm, you know, go ahead and leave me a message in the comments below and I'll send you a, um, uh, you know, a link so you can try Ecamm for free as well. Basically what I did to find these and, and I found the ones that I wanted basically what I did was I typed in neon green frame. Okay. And then the, I also have, uh, well, let me say this. I have a, I have a Canva pro account, so you're going to need Canva pro for some of these things. Canva has two, you know, two different la layers. There's one, the free, layer, right? And if you notice, um, if it's, if there's something for free, you'll be able to, you know, kind of hover over something. And if it's free, it'll say free there, but we're going to be using Canva pro today. And, uh, Canva pro I think is like 1295 a month. So anyway, so, so this is what I did. I typed in neon green frame and I just started scrolling through, looking through the frames that I wanted. So this is one that I found here. So the next thing I want to do now is add this box around the, um, the video box. Okay. But this one, I have to be really careful because here, let me, let me show you. So if you notice this right here, this is a frame. Okay. And so if you move a picture near the frame, it'll automatically snap into it. So see, this is exactly what I was saying. So if I put this, you know, as I started to kind of snap it in place, then it just kind of like created that little, it just went inside the box and I don't want to do that. I mean, I could just leave it there and then, and just put my video overlay right, around, right over it, but nah. Yeah, I mean, I could just do that. I really could, but you know, that'd be too easy, right? You know what? I'm just not going to put a frame in there because guess what? The overlays, the, um, the video overlays, 
I can put, I can drop a video overlay directly into it like that. And I don't, I don't have to do, um, I don't have to do anything. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> How about them apples, right? Okay. So I got it centered and it looks great. Now let's go back to this. So this one, I'm not feeling the harsh lines on the side. I just, I'm not, I just don't feel that. So I'm just going to just delete that. Okay. So I'm just going to keep it, keep it around this and hit that button right there. So you can see that neon effect. It looks really nice. Right, looks really nice. And all I would need to do is once I download this fit, download this video. Now, notice it's very short. Okay, it's only 10 seconds long. So you see right up here, it, this video is only 10 seconds long. Therefore, this effect would only last for 10 seconds. And I want it to be a nice video that loops, right? That kind of gives an effect every so often. So let me show you how I did that. One of the things that I, that I also did was I created an animation that went with the slide. The first thing I'm going to do now that I have this right here, now I'm going to duplicate it four times and it'll make so much more sense here in just a few minutes. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this four times. One, two, three, each slide is 10 seconds long. So therefore the four slides, is 40 seconds long. So now that we have all the assets where we want them to be, okay, and we created all the copies. So remember, we have four copies of it now. What we're gonna do is animate it, okay? So what, what I'm gonna do is hit this button here that says animate, okay? And if you scroll over each one of these, it'll show you the animation, right? So this is block and this is the one that I actually want to use because that's what I use with the other one, but I'll just wanted to scroll over it so you can see. And so this says breathe. And if you notice, it's sort of like, you know, getting bigger and here's fade. Okay. And here's pan as it slides in. Now, when I do my transition, I don't want to have to worry about anything shifting. Um, even though these are all really fun, um, you know, I kind of have an aesthetic for my show and I, um, I don't want to have to worry about things kind of, you know, shifting around too much. So I'm just kind of scrolling over these. And if you notice all of these here that don't have this little crown next to it, um, these are all free. You can use these on the free Canva account, but anything that has this little crown here, um, those are Canva pro features. Some of the, uh, uh, the elements that we're using are Canva, Canva pro elements. I'm just scrolling over all of them. So you guys can see the animation that you can, um, use on each one of these. Okay. So what I want to do is use this one here. This is block. Okay. I can I really like it. And that's what I use with the last one. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to set this to block, right? But this is the only one that I want to set to block. Okay. Now the reason why I made extra copies of each one of those frames is that we're going to make a video where this one is the only one that animates and then the other ones remain static and I'll create a loop so that, you know, every 40 seconds I'll have an animation. And then, you know, for the next 39 seconds, it won't do anything until 40 seconds. Okay. All right. So here's how I did that. So remember this one is set to block. Okay. And this is page number nine. Okay. This is page number 10 and I had originally had it to stop, but I don't want it to be stumped. I want it to be none. Okay. So none, nothing on page 10. This is page 11 and I want to set that to none again. Okay. Set that to none and page 12, which should be the fourth one, right? I want to set that also instead of doing, oops, sorry set that to none. Okay. So, so remember, so we're going from page nine. Okay. So this is one, which is animated. This is page 10. So it's none. So it just, it's giving me the trigger to do it, but I don't want to. Okay. This is the third one and this is the fourth one. Okay. All right. So we're going from page nine to page 12. Remember that. All right. So now I kind of want to see what it looks like, but I have so many, um, I've got like 19 pages in this design, but the only pages that I really want to see is pages nine through 12. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to download. 
Okay. And then it's going to show me all the pages and I want it to be a video. Okay. So it's already set to video because I want it to be a video. And then I'm going to check the pages that I want. So the pages that I want are nine, 10, 11 and 12. Okay. Those are the only ones. And I'm going to hit done and download. And it's going to go ahead and download it for me. So I'm so excited. So we're just going to, through the magic of television, we're going to kind of wait for it to do, to do what it do. Okay. So, um, and I can't wait to show you what it looks like here in just a minute. If you want to try Canva, go ahead and tr and see this link right here. Go ahead and um, click on the link or just put this link in here and you'll get a I think 30 day trial, a free trial of Canva for 30 days where you can play with all these different little things. There are all kinds of things that you can do in Canva, um, create graphics there are templates and different things that you can turn around and make your own, um, you know, make your own branding. You can create a branding kit in there. It's really, really awesome. Not only that, I also wanted to tell you about buy me a coffee. So if you are enjoying this tutorial, uh, you can feel free to buy me a coffee. Okay. The link is in the description. Oops, right here, <laughs> right there. So you can go ahead and buy me a coffee and I really would appreciate it. Are you a fan? If you're anything like me, I love a beautiful fan moment. I really do. Okay. So look, if you are a fan of the show and you want to support the show, this is how you can do it. I had an opportunity to create my own version of a fan. And some of you already know that I am a sucker for leopard print. If you want to support the show, become a fan and hashtag team fan blades, right? Bam. Oh my gosh. Right. This is a gorgeous fan that you have access to now. Okay. So let me show you. That's what it looks like. Did you hear that? Like seriously, just the sound alone is worth it for me. Okay. And not only that, your fan will come in this beautiful wrapper right here. Like I said, you'll become a fan of the show and it also represents the brand, right? So not only that, you'll get a little something, something. So at the beginning of all my shows, you see this little green diamond spinning and you know, there's a lot of green around me. And so this is sort of like my little signature hunty. Okay. So it's just a little token, a little something, something to say, thank you so much. So become a fan of the show and you can get this very, your very own fan by going to this right here. Okay. So if you go to my website, which is a www.lbcbranding.live right now on the front page, on the home page, you'll see all the information about the merch shop, right? You'll see a gorgeous pair of, um, a, a gorgeous hat and all that stuff. You'll see information on the merch shop. Go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you right to this gorgeous fan. So hashtag team fan blade. So are you ready to see what we got? Let's go ahead and play it through. So remember, this is now 40 seconds long, right? And so now you can see the animation. You see how it wipes the, the words onto the screen? And then we have the thingy going around and around and around. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see that in action. So now I'm going to go to Ecamm and... Um, go ahead and put that into my scene. This is what it looks like before. Here we go. I'm so excited, right? Oh my gosh. If you like this, please let me know in the comments below. I really would appreciate it. Not only that, uh, you can always buy me a coffee. I'm just saying, if you're digging this, you know, um, I showed you step-by-step step of how to make it. So, um, yeah, so you can always buy me a coffee right here. Doop, 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 doop. Do, 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 right there. Um, and if you want to try Canva for yourself, okay. And to see what all of the fuss is all about. Uh, yeah, do so. Okay. By going to this link right here and, uh, try it, check it out for free. Let me know what you think. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. -bye.